He's going to be able to have a similar performance. But they did annihilate. Really <laughs> they did the annihilate Jax. So it's going to be Chocomo again here on this race. A rough time on split, but we've seen what he can do when we were back on that Lotus. Okay, That's Demon kind of 1 on Chamber. It's a prime gaming agents like here, and it's both these teams going back to the compositions we were talking right, about. Yep. Match five kind of the same best as what we out of five, where EG has let this one um, slip. You saw Bustio what out do we got here? A petty sum? I think I missed this. this. I like think I missed this, bro. Thank you so much for the four months. Thank you for the prime. And Maple Brown saying that I need aim labs. Honestly, yeah, that's pretty accurate. I've been played for a while as well, so that's never more been relevant, to be honest. You had this two. 2-0, and now you've let it slip from your grasp, and you have to close it out here and now. Everything is on loud to be able to end this one and end the miracle Does the chamber wreck but the this triple smokes? No. This is what we're all excited for. So, Kia Forum, let's Not really. make some noise for map five as we send it over to Brent and Sideshow for the final call. Thank you very much, Golden Boy. <laughs> what are my thoughts on chamber? Don't ask me about chamber. I think it's the best agent, bro. I'm, I'm massively on the chamber hype. If I was in a team right now, with all the new changes, I'm running chamber Yoru on as many maps as I possibly can. Straight up. Don't know, don't know what the rest of the comp is yet, but there's a two. EG playing bind against Paper X. We're able to pick up the pistol, the follower, and that was all they got on the attack side. That was it. From then on, okay. Defensive Loud defensive on defense, EG on attack. How to break Last one. All. And this triple 2 0 to 0 and 2 in terms of maps. Also Sorry. Really good on defense. It's unusual. <laughs> two. Okay. Wait, what? I mean, there's a smoke here. A through the brim smoke. Yeah, there's a smoke here, boss. Pushing up. What I was trying to say Maybe. is 2 0 to 2 2, and then in terms of pistols, it's actually 4 4 now. Play it. The overall game plan that they had. Less has got the most to do. They're also immediately taking out the player that was on fire in split. Wall up. Less knowing it's compromised. And as it starts to go down, it connects there with the nade. Let's drop down. And they get over towards the site. Nice retake. And it looks like... Towards them. Get that plan down. TP. Demon 1, what do you do? TP or go behind? <laughs> what did you think he saw? Ooh, nice jump spot. He goes in for the TP. What a hard retake now. All he has to do is stay alive, really. Okay, as he goes down. Okay. He could be the real backstab element as well. The knife in the back, no! He's brought down to his knees. Everybody collected. Well, they got a like. Smokes to work over, but they just got to rely on that raw aim. The raw spam with the shots. Landing all the way for Lauber. Doesn't no matter time. in terms of this one. It felt, I tell you what, this felt a little bit weird because um, so EG played this very, very well. But then they got to a position once they killed this guy. And it felt like they had to exec more on the long guys. I think they knew the nade was still up if they'd been keeping on top of it. Yeah, it felt like they um, felt like they waited a little too long. So many different things going on there. Right from the beginning, the spam through the smoke to be able to pick up Aspas early. Demon one thinking of backstabbing through the teleporter. Nike's ideas from loud two on their defense. Damn, honestly, they mute Every them. They mute the replays pretty fast. There's an extra yeah, element being bro. added. That time paranoia for them to retake um, back okay. to Hooker. In terms of pistols, so four chance, five by the way. But it's EG with One nil for this map, obviously. Blinded. And again, a reminder when they played against Paper X, they won the pistol. They won the follow up on the attack side. Ah, that's they didn't get a big investment. Bat. So I'm concerned. About what EG have going for them. Wait, that's a big investment. Get themselves into player advantage situations early. We'll keep an eye on what that means. Uh, Nats Panda <laughs> with the three months. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Short of name. Keep control. Be long. So two years earlier, making sure to farm up the orb as well over towards Shara. So, real priority for him to get that ult online. Thoughts on Breach and Sky on this map? I hate Breach on this map. It, it ends up becoming the most one-dimensional thing ever. Tell you what, I would only like a... I would actually... I'll take it back. I would like a Phoenix... I would like a Phoenix with that. 
if you if you were gonna try and make me play breach and sky on this map i'd like a i'd like a phoenix so you can get orb control all the time it's the only way i'm in for it then I have no idea how you're getting over towards Saiyan, look at you. Spot some signs of life again, Flash rotating around, Satchel playing all over the place inside the tube. They do clean okay. it up. I was gonna say. They have no idea that. Go down. But watching. Could be long swing. TP right behind it. Demon okay, Flash goes in as well. That's a nice gun. Not gonna win this though, right? Look at the HPs. Oh, this is actually kind of close, chat. Yeah, they're really low. Jogamo has to get this kill. Oh boy. Really making the most of this. Smoke's still there. The one way they don't know which way to land. They don't know which way to play. But finally. It's a nice double swing by them. And again, another. Setting this time ticking for Aspas to do so much, but okay. Incredibly close round again. Yeah, really, really close. EG barely able to hold on with fractional health. Aspas with one kill there got his nade back on line two. I think, but yeah, because so of the because of the actual kills themselves. Had not been perfect, if EG had, had, not had that excellent coordination no between boom ball, that's it. And comp, Bonus gets absolutely chance. wrecked. Too much damage done. But let's see. Uh, let's see what Loud damage they can do. Again, anything like two kills just means that it's a big round. It's buy round for the next round. Big swing round. Sorry. Gonna try and go fast through showers. So they, alongside it. they get past this one way very early on. Sadak's going to be throwing that a lot of the time. Yeah, I wonder how showers. often they're going to do that. Honestly, the showers control could be interesting. And it smokes as well for the job. Paranoia, Molly being used. A lot of until pulled out allowed. Tons, in fact. EG, they wait out their timing. They can really strike back. And look at that day, just... Oh my god, there's right so much util. Wait, this is a nightmare to play against. The Molly's Aspars. Look down this angle here. Still nowhere to run, nowhere. To really get out of dodge and danger here towards the back of the side. It's all good together. Still loud. Maybe not. Okay, that might be the jaw that decides it. It's a great name. Got a reposition. Bustio tucking around the corner. Ethan in their face. Oh my god. Dude, some of these jewels, chat. 19 HP survives on this. Oh my god. Brought it round, ring around the roses. Oh, one versus one. Time. Starting to hear it. Les knows is out. It has to be a half stick all the way through. Getting off a Damn. bit. What a round. No way they won this one. This was sick. They Red just they just put Bufio so much Uta to over towards it. EG. They guess I really came in with. Let me. Uh, oops. My goodness. The melting chat. I wait for the replay, then I restart it. Much to the excitement. Almost all of the fans here to care for him. Uh, yeah. Hometown team, North American. I don't think I've ever seen. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> bonus round one. I don't think I've ever Today seen. Today, Chad, they had such a bad bonus in terms of guns, but lamps. they used their util Look. so well Look, in this. Six players brawling in lamps there on the retail. Yeah, I've never seen, I've never seen the first buy round against a bonus and three but people time, on defense, way, kind of like showers, tied, I guess, that. over towards lamps. A lot of the time, Tuis is going to burn his molly early in that spot too. Allowed with good information over towards A, deep down short and deep in showers, can stack three on B. They run into Aspas, might be in danger. Again, because of the ultimate, has been talking about it, Aspas earning it, close to it, into the corner, he's already let it loose and let it rip! No Big one kill. To it. Nade rebounding, no. dodge to the side, team and one, eventually shutting down. Okay, tell you what, Ethan got a really Aspas important kill over towards Stain. Aspas has been putting up TPs. And they put the ult into the eco. Smoke forwards here. Demon one tucks himself in. He's able to play this one. <laughs> With the Look at the movement. Away. That was sick. Three bullets. Two versus two. All of these rounds have ended up being very close, despite the fact it's three zero to EG. Wait, has Omen flash? Twelve seconds for a smoke though. Wait, Omen Flash Smoke could be a nightmare because they're not going to hear they actually touch it. Oh, what a flash, yeah. I kind of didn't want to get XX on as well in terms of this. I think they didn't want to let him have time to get the smoke because then they realized they would be in such a bad situation. So before the smoke came back, they decided to flash swing. 
that they were able to get against Paper Rex. Again, the story of this series, defined by these teams on their attack sides. Even though they've won so many, I think their money's still really low, right? This round's been close. Oh, that was really nice. What a sick flash this was, by the way. This one was them on a light bar. But EG have got up to the showstopper. Yeah. It was Asmas that just used his. So. I'll do up yeah, there. That back. flash was incredible. All right. Here. First time out. Not how he wanted it to go. 4 0. Now, I think Jorgamo trying to get aggressive quickly at the start of these rounds is a great idea. If that's what Potter's cooked up, she likes to pre plan the first three or four rounds, I think she said. Oh, they do that as well? Hearts. That's interesting. If this is the game plan, double blast packing down short with a showstopper straight into lamps. What is Sadat going to do about that? He's going to throw out his paranoia, but the showstopper is a great tool for being able to open up the A side of the map. Yeah, I completely agree. Made a graphic already? A okay, I'll check it out. Loud comp playing, you know, triple controller. Almost unheard of. <laughs> nah, I didn't take that one with me. Keep it. Are you going to be thinking now? It's more than just belief. Four rounds in a row. This is an important hurdle to get over this next so one. Yeah, good, good news for Loud is that at least this isn't to too crazy. Considering it's 4 0. It's still pretty bad, though. Bad news for them. they got to win this round. Four. One of the most famous games of VCT history. You want to play? Let's play. The confidence is there from EG. They know that they're capable of it. Tuiz was ready with the molly if there was any kind of fast control towards Yeah, Shales. And he would kind of love this uh, of the one. this orb. And he's so confident they would have yes. someone behind it because no surely he didn't get that one for free. I thought he was going to try and pick up the orb or something, but he's just tucked himself into this corner. EG were going for a lot of these kind of plays where they take hooker control and were trying to double blast back Jorgamo out through hooker. And one of the issues when they played against Paper X is that he was just getting plucked out of the sky. But that requires the defenders to be really sharp with their aim. Jorgamo, he's in. Hello, oh my he's goodness. In he's he's alone. Dude, the he's one person fake. Does he get the omen? No, it doesn't. I was going to say, does he stick the, the omen or? He's done so players. good he's on played. this, and they kind of know he's over towards Elba, though, right? No. Yeah, he just was so much closer than they thought. Wow, and Demon get to the kill over towards here, and they TP. Chat, EG are doing crazy good stuff. This was a really good plan into this. What a round for them to be able yeah, to pull yeah, they, out. They're having, they got some great, great rounds at the moment. In evil <laughs> Doesn't get the gun. Well, no, you can the do that. In that, one. that was a beautiful round. You're expecting something very strange. Yeah, the, um, their bonus and this was so nice. They have the understanding that Lauda playing over Octagon. So Jorgamo is feeling favored to be able to get a, ki uh, a kill anyway. But the fact that it's all a fake. And Jorgamo is just left kind of inserted weirdly into Elba. Unbelievable. Was that, was, that, was that a freeze frame or was that actual just... Dude, he did not move. Oh god, the four person. Okay, yeah, they've had enough. Four person push, they managed to squeeze out a buy, still pretty good. Okay, that'll do it. <laughs> and Asmas from beyond the grave even, collecting the fourth. What an instant response from Loud. I mean, that's exactly what they needed. Confidence up instantly, yeah. all the way down. And, and Jorgamo has <laughs> been trying to take some space over there. It's just full blind. Yeah, just pure numbers. But we gotta we got to bear in mind this. One nine loss bonus if they lose this on top. If this is Loud's answer. Oh, this is close. Force the fight. Demon Wong gets his op. Not relying on utility as much. Man, are they going to expect the op? We're in for an exciting map. Problem with the attack op is there's so many smokes again, that you're not going to get much of, of a. Being for by oh, loud. okay. But yeah, honestly. Got under this. In case there is that contest. Hello. Flash. What do I mean by one nine loss bonus? When you win a round and then lose the next one, it's 1,900, right? In terms of money. 
match together. Come on, this is ridiculous. Oh and god, this is here, but pressure. Down, Still very hard for them to plant at the, the moment, and that's like, dude, he took the down the Viper. They were looking for no more pits. Did so much damage as well this fight. to Ethan. It's pesky. EG not granted a free chance to really get this plant down and online. That was actually really smart by him. The pressure from him popping the ult here, knowing that he's there, and he goes up and shoots it towards him, knowing that he would move back. There is so much going on right now. That's a huge kill. Yeah, it's a good understanding from Lao of just how big the round is and just putting every single ult into it. Same thing with EG. They understand that if they can break the econ, it's game over. Two v four. They have no idea that if they took the, took the TP right now, they could actually win it. But Les is still in a fantastic position, even if they do decide to take the teleporter. There's no time. They have to commit to A. It's a tap. They're surrounded. No fights to be taken. No easy shots. Shot at least over it. Less from behind. But yeah, there's really just no time left waiting. Okay, nicely so, done. Managed to pick up the op. Do they want it? And they're talking about it. Nope. Easily. Yeah, not in for it. We saw a tweet from Anders. A guy that's helped coach Fnatic for this tournament after Split, where he said, Loud finally showing the version that beat Fnatic. This is the Loud in the last couple of rounds that beat Fnatic. Confident, aggressive, getting up in yeah, your face. Aspas is going crazy on this one as well, though. He's so 14 active. and 6. And they've broken EG's yeah, bottom. and like I said, the, the money Five wasn't too out of control once we got to here. So it only took two wins in a row to break this down. Less eco for them. Well, I say eco, it's actually a pretty good low buy. Triple stinger, one guardian. Again, loud focusing on the outsides of the map. Showers, be long. Maintaining control over these areas. Do they want to put Viper Molly into this? Doesn't look like it. There. Again, the money, not too good for EG. Despite the multiple wins in a row, and they don't know where these players could be standing. Loud's game plan. Control also, her. looks like they think that there might be an op in play with how I'm watching some of these jiggle peaks because then again, there was an op on the floor. They have to be scared that there's an op here. Demon one does this all the time. That's one of the smokers. Three people here though. Dog goes in, spots one. Do you cancel? With all of the seekers here, you surely yeah. cancel and they are. They're going over towards the good call. Such hours control, Ethan. Hey, a flash up damage. Sadak. Narrowly avoiding it. How Still close to get? one. Sadak. Sadak feeling it now. Util in his face all the way through. It's the right force of the guns. Left. Making the most of it through the box. Chances abound. Whoa. But it's Aspas who just cannot find it. Chat, look there at the HPs. Look at their HPs. We had four, 14, and 28. Just one shot. Chocomo also weak. No way. Back around. What a reposition. Through the wall. Using it against him. And it's a draw. Oh, my Slices God. That was wiser. sick. What a play. <laughs> yeah, that was so yes. sick. The reverse of the wall to creep blow. back through that was so good the chances for Kawazin, but at this point there's just no way man Kawazin really wishing he was one of the smokers for this one because the smoke on the spike would help him a lot all the way here Jorgamo oh he gonna claim but as soon as I kill there Molly orbs up Bruce on the side six to two That kind of all came down to Demon One's pick, to be honest. Demon One's pick, then they managed to use the Seekers at the right time. Three of them went over towards B, realizing there's one here. Overwhelm. I mean, this was great play by them when they were low. And I really appreciate that EG stuck to their guns on Bind, leaving Demon One on Chamber and Boostio on Brim. Boostio had a terrible Brim performance against Paper Rex. And I think that knocked his confidence for the entire rest of the series. But they're both delivering today. Ooh, Demon one though caught. He didn't have his one to go down. He's not even in position there, expecting to take the fight. Loud, not really feeling. Whoa. Uh, the confidence knocked there at all. I mean, it's an attempt by EG to pick up the pieces to push yeah. through those choke points, but it's not as well thought oh, out. My and goodness, they got annihilated in this players. one. Set up for success. <laughs> okay, well, they know where Ethan is. But the seventh round seems pretty far away at this point. That's yeah, going to clean, clean up, up. though. It's definitely Break what they needed in terms of their three. econ. They were so low on this. Four people surviving. Make sure to follow my pack in. EG are going to get knocked back down to a weird buy again. 
Yeah, they have some weird money. Some are on, some is like 5k, some 4k. Some is like 2, 9, 2, 8. I mean, you look at the time on the clock. That's 10 seconds into Ooh. the round that they're taking yeah. the fight. For sure. It's a bit of a weird timing. I mean, you either expect B long aggression to be as soon as the barriers drop. Yeah, so one person so takes a hit and Jogamo has the ult on it. This, though. Being a -clear kind yeah, of money's pretty low. So just messing with the timings. Really caught Demon 1 off. Four person, are they sending it over towards long again? Yeah, so they send it over towards long, and it honestly looks like they might be sending it here. They have no idea about the three person push. No idea, but. Oh my god. Oh And they say it, there's no one near. Yeah, and they're kind of expecting the chamber trip. A wrap around a flank place. There's going to be a trademark waiting for them again. Does Com hear any of this? Maybe the potential's there. No noise is being made. He's turned his attention away. It's up the boost here as well. They know that this fight's coming through. Still in control of it. Nade pushes it out wide to the open. Less success when it comes to taking these fights together, but they have they're so much buying a lot of time. One took himself close again. These off angles knows how to play it all. Sick strike old. just buying time, bleeding the clock. The Molly at their feet, two years distracted. Every single moment counts on this one. EG again in firm control. Doesn't matter if they lose their players, they have nothing coming into this. A series of ultimates, yeah. and that's about it, but it gets them to that seven. Honestly, EG kind of called the most perfect thing in this round. And that's two. Loud decided to go aggro with the EG four again, the and they decided they to instantly the descend it over towards here. Shallow smokes. The good. Just, uh, was that four or three at least? Shallows? Round eight, round ten. Finding that success. So, so different to their game against Paper Race. Loud have struggled to hold on despite the fact that Aspas is Yeah, carrying this last round might be. I mean, whoever loses this is just has an awful bite for the next round. For the last round. And it's just not enough. EG is still finding these openings. That one, a gamble from Loud. They only had one player in A. This time they stack it with three early on. And it's still just down to Les and Cowanzine to defend over on the B side of the map. No one on EG ready to for any large ultimates to come online. Whereas Loud can get close to quite a few. Yeah, they're close to it. I'm out of stuff. A few kills go the direction of Loud. Always chances, especially with the rifles. No moves being made by EG. Loud are 12 and three on bind all time. They've only lost to two teams. Optic and EDG here at Champs. Yeah, they play <laughs> they play this one real slow. Again, they're just waiting for Loud to just go aggro on them here. Everyone is real close in terms of Loud to getting an all. Ethan essentially alone and he breaks the door as one backs away. It feels like there's so much more presence here, but again, he spots there two. Loud, they immediately face Yeah, they're kinda out of position. Three people over towards here. He picked a right control. site. Yeah, the shower's control here should end up being Sadek still has flash if they want to try something crazy. Slash goes in. They still got a spike plant down. Ethan's on the lurk. Bustio has his uh. Bustio has Molly. He can delay a lot. It's loud, taking ground, taking names. Kawazin. the Molly. Eventually brought down, but it's all at. Consistency and a discipline. Let's see sticking it from behind. Ethan has got to do no so time. much more, but it's just no time. Yeah. Out wide for and it. Done. Also, they were ready for the the, uh, oh boy. the lark from Com on this one. Incredible individual timing. It's kind of the first time he's actually been wrecked. Really. Great aim too. Being able to find his moment in pocket. Dude, look at this as well. Players as they were backpedaling. <laughs> Almost EG have all five of them. Just trying to jiggle peek and spam. Attempting to slow these guys down, but Jorgamo's caught reloading in the open, and then Bustio fails to trade. Nice try by Ethan on the lurk. We've seen those work multiple times from Kong, but not here. A broken buy once again from EG. They've been winning these Everyone low buys, though. Up. Yeah, should they just get Shao's control for free. Round. That's where the pit is. That's where they've been owning on the low buys. It all hinges. Nice. Ethan now has Seekers, bro. So they've gone for use. Yeah, early showers. Dude, Aspas seekers. was Remember there. How good loud were at clearing out the pit with seekers before on split. So question mark right over towards here. This one isn't going to get cleared out for a little bit. Loud are kind of fine with that. It seems they hold strong with the three-person stack here. Yeah. War chest of ultimates. 
That's nice as well. See how he waits for the flash to go back here so it gets to this full line. Trying to get early, early info. Where a lot of these players are. And if EG gets snarled up, the orbital strike from Tui's could be the nail in the coffin. There's the Seeker's Nolt. Go button gonna be pressed here for EG. They wanna be looking it, swarming all the way through. Oh, the strike! It's caught them, collected them, the central movement, but out in the air, Jogamo. He's got no backup. They wanna hold it down as well to provide that covering fire. Three players left standing here for EG. It's kind of just too many ults on this. What else can we say about that? Slow to a crawl, maybe Demon 1. Bit of a miracle here, dropping down. Flash not there, it's a bit of a fake play! Boost the O, together, collected! There's no the way they should ever be winning that. Dude, why yeah, did they let them jump down. out? 12 seconds remaining, less. Deep on another flank of his own. And it's a 1v2, how have EG managed to make it this? Team and one. Watching for back sight, but who is controlling this one? Boost the O falls, and Team and one is weak. He has no idea though. Playing for the position, yes! Jesus. Okay, well they get five right, nicely done from Les. Yeah, that should that should never have got down to one v two. I still can't believe that they let them get out I of here. EG had done enough there. The little fake flash in the cubby. Demon one hitting night shots with the guardian. They almost had it. Almost. Almost. Dude, what how was that so uncoordinated over towards sight? That was crazy. To bring this back within two, a pistol and a follow up, and this will be tied a piece at seven. Wow. Electric with the half as well. Let's send it down to the floor as well. We've got a special guest, EG's biggest fan. That is right. I am joined by a very special guest right now. Everyone, give it up for Papa Com Comstad One. <laughs> the Rays main. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, first of all, it is a long day today. You've been here since uh, map one. How are you feeling? How are the emotions going? Um, it's always up and down when I see these games. When he does really well, I'm on extreme high. When he does, doesn't do well, I'm on extreme low. Um, but that's just apparent. He's been doing really, really well lately, though, so you must be very happy. I am extremely happy. The clutches, the kills, I mean, it's been extremely, you know, rewarding watching him and play. Uh, I wanted to ask you how it feels to watch him play in a venue this iconic in front of this many people. They're all cheering for him. I never thought he would ever play in a venue like this. I remember him when he was 13, banging on his desk, playing CSGO. Who would have thought he would have been playing in this, you know, arena, thousands of people. I oh yeah, what the? You're right. That would be the ultimate. Yeah. That would be the ultimate dream. Uh, I also heard that uh, you play Outrageous, yourself. You're bro. nearly plat, right? Raise, raise one trick. We one might trick. see you up there one day. Oh yeah, I mean, Jogimo, uh, I'm right behind Jogimo <laughs> as a raise player. Uh, what do you think about Asfas's raise right now? Uh, let's not talk about that. <laughs> it's good, it's good. And lastly, is there anything you'd like to uh, say to the fans? Anyone, a shout out there? Oh, uh, keep, keep supporting EG. They've come a long way. This is a Cinderella season. Hi to MamaCom, GammaCom, GammaCom hurt herself recently. That's why MamaCom couldn't be here. So shout out to them. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. One more time, give it up and see great. if EG can put it back in the second half. So all the hopes are resting on is EG got to be telling themselves, listen, Loud have been in this position before. They almost pulled off that reverse sweep of lock-in. They were denied the chance by Fnatic. <laughs> yeah, that was, dude, he Five nailed that. It was a really good end for you. Uh, Aspas gets raid boss on this one. Armor. It is for both teams, though, at this point. Yeah. And the ghost yeah, dropped. Five in a row at the start of the half. And well, what are we doing? Really well. Smoke goes so in. Kind of a bit of a pace. peek to see if they wanted to wide swing that. Three pass and follow the dog over towards later. long. This is interesting as well. They find out where the chamber is. Most likely, you know that it's a two. A lot of the time of how they play it can be a one, but... They saw, uh, they saw both, I think. Just playing off his trademark over there in Hooker. No shower control, but looks like they want to try and take it anyway. TP got... Three players here. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of people here. If you could put a stop to this. In the moment's notice. Oh. Made a defeat. That's to try and clear out the smoke as well. Boostio. Oh, Boostio did incredible to get that kill, by the way. 
He's gonna tap, tap, tap and reset the aim enough, but he can't claim the kill. Four players still left standing. Plant coming through, Jorgamo. A real chance, but no! It's shut down. Really? Why the face of the frenzy spray? Demon one's coming around behind. Yeah, he's gonna feel like he should have done better here, for sure. Point, there are no gaps in these setups so far. Demon one would have to take down less. <laughs> he's not up to the task. Less too sharp right now. And Ethan's abandoned in a 1v4 on the pistol. He's gonna try and make a play for it, but no, with less tucked to the side. Okay, so we it's, it's pretty cool though. We got five, well, five right, in terms of the pistols, out. one 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 for this. What a nice time to do even. it. That's pretty cool. Looking like this should be evened up at seven apiece. We've seen this series be a little streaky. Felt like Pearl and Split. Loud were completely in control. Whereas this, back to how it felt on ascent, back and forth between these two teams. And a nice edge. Yeah, with any at any moment, any player can tip the scales. That's a great spot to Even this one real simple. All five. So much responsibility when you know that any minor error, any minor play can make the difference. It's daunting. Maybe it's good. That was in. Lucky to be alive. TP through. Ethan still alive. Still holding it down. Okay, Shower's control is there. So if EG keep control of this, which looks like they are. I mean, the loud post plan. Okay, so in, in terms of the actual buy, by the way, anything over Deal one kill is now, huge. Started. And, and it feels like they're going to get yeah, it. They're actually used. I mean, everybody is playing down short, and they don't have post plant lineups particularly. No they, they, they can't really get vision blocked. Paranoia. A bit further forward here. Their side is off. Bro, he's just sticking it. He's just sticking it. Oh my god, dude! They wrecked them. The full eco. Yeah, they need to not celebrate. They need to get the upgrades. Huge. Dude, that might be it. That's, that's the round at least where Loud would look back All and be like, dude, how did we lose scared. this one? Four players grouped around short with no Brim Molly, no Snake Bites, Oh, the shots, no dude. Way of playing yeah. And, yet no cross and the plan was just so together. strong again. Dude, we're having a few of these runs from Loud where, like, um... It. They get they into a situation where they don't really take too much map control or they just end up grouping. Right, do you remember the other round where it was the bonus that went three people here? This other round here where they go four people here? Like, they need to make... They need to... Yeah, some of these situations not play great by them. That was really sick from EG, though. Especially Komi had some good shots. A chance to prove that they really do belong with the heavy hitters making back to back grand finals here. Still, damage exchange on either side, but the rifles doing the work that was intended. Got the Sadax trying to be a bother, throwing down smokes, throwing down fake TPs over towards A, making it feel like they could be walking in through the smokes. But EG is going to be nice for them as well, especially if Ethan really or Boostio gets a kill. Now, these last two players hovering around short, launching smoke. Right here. Molly. Set up. Molly. Slight miss. It's gonna be interesting as well because now they can get the diffuse as well. Massive gun disadvantage. So they're probably gonna have an all advantage going to the next big buy. Play it close together. You're gonna have to hit some unbelievable shots to even stand a chance. But they're smoked off. Yeah, that smoke is incredible. It's not played for them whatsoever. Come. Full confidence, full safety from the rest of his team watching. It's six to nine. Do we still get to kill anymore? No, okay. Two ease is just gonna save his sheriff into the next. So, yeah, I mean, Loud we just go aggro in. now. The to like the chance of them doing a deep, the every time they want an orb, normally they do deep smoke flash. So I imagine they're going to be doing that. We get the op out in terms of Demon 1 the going. Okay, yeah. And it looks like they're going to get a free orb here. We're going to smoke down. Flash isn't going to hit anyone. We're going to get the orb. No Pearl smoke on it as well. Maybe too predictable in terms of what they normally do. That's nice. Boostio has his ult into this one. Persevering versus loud. And we're on the cusp of maybe performing this reverse route. There's still a chance, of course, but... 
confidence is back. Look how fast the rotates are coming through. Bustio booking it over to A. And he's yeah. got the orbital strike. He they just have so much, yeah. The plan. Kalma has his, so they do DRX smoke in terms of making it hard to plant. And then on top of this, you've got Molly, you've got Nade, you've got everything. Got Brimal if they want it. Here goes the Nade, Brimal to next. This is what they were waiting for, though. Honestly, Loud have done a really good job of getting all of their util out of them for the 50 second mark. Zadok's priming a paranoia here to try and push the yeah. back side. There it is. Paranoia Flash to actually through. try and get the plant Jesus down. Committing with the plan as well. Almost paying for it. Yes, he is. With his own life. Jorgamo. Inside. Wow, he was here so it. early. Playing once more inside. Invulnerable though. It does not matter. The splashes are blind. Corralling them. Close to the corners here. Zadok, the last one left. Not planning for him. Smoke in his face. Six bullets left. And Bustio sticking to the fuse now. Ethan. All he's going to do is hold it down. All he's going to do is hit this shot. <laughs> Yeah, really, really strong. Again, they just had so much delay. It just felt like they were non-stop getting damage, or they at least got. They eventually got the kill from the uh, from the Molly there with the smoke. The DRX smoke over towards default is just so strong, man. It's such a nightmare to play against. About the fact that Loud control that teleporter back over to B. There are four players waiting here. Very reminiscent of how EDG and. And Billy Billy, honestly, as well, the Chinese meta oh, of playing these 4 one man. defensive setups. <laughs> They're happy about it. EG got granted a massive opportunity. I mean, their, their plan into the whole round was great, though. Again. Like, get the orb over towards want. long. Put, them put the rotate the in nice seat. and early, and the and delay was set up over towards A. Right like, the whole plan. Again, when you watch these teams, when it just feels like EG a lot of the time. The world, they're not too many their options. overall they plan, although it's like... Loud know that. It, it's not crazy. It's not like... It's not like insane. Right, exactly. We wouldn't be looking at it and be like, damn, that's like ridiculously insane. A lot of the time it is like fairly obvious, but it's just so... It's so precise. Everything is like perfect about it. Like they, they know if they're going he heavy over towards one side, the other side had lo has like a lot of delay, etc. Like it's just well thought out. Make that reverse sweep possibility. Yeah, exactly that, Lekker. Yeah. They have it stolen away in the final few moments. They're gonna force this, Brad. Wow. They're going for it with three rifles, a sheriff, and a stinger. It does not look pretty. I'm surprised Sadak isn't also buying like a judge or something. There's a oh, rifle. He's, he's gonna go for a yeah, rifle. Yeah, I mean, this is it. Chad, this wow, is literally it because this is about to get too much. The ults are, are, are online as well. No, Damn, they got a hard. This is a hard round to win. Pretty much full utility. I think about how important this is. All the hopes and dreams for And they got a little bit closer to this as well. If Jorgamo now gets a kill, then that's that all. Conway once more taking a tumble. Jorgamo. What to answer? Space there doesn't trigger onto any players. Yes, so Loud broke the trademark, but they're a little worried. I mean, that's really the good timing. Re clear yeah. as well is so good to allow three players from EG to commit to defending A. I suppose here's this. Com could actually alt off contact. He's actually gonna alt way before. He just trusts the read based off Ethan's utility. And the Seekers now what? rotate around here. The Seekers gonna be. Chasing them, but with the trademark broken, th there's got to be a little more doubt than what? the previous round. <laughs> yeah, they, they can't fully leave this. They go to the site with three people and the Viper. We still have double Molly. We've got the smoke on the site. It's going to be the same thing where they can't plant. I mean, they must take TP at one point. It's going to be so hard for them to plant. It's that pit. It's a nuisance. They gotta see too much here and realize they can't plant. Right? The spam, flash into the back of the side. It has to be watched for with these kills. All the way in their face. The shorty on the bullet. Sadak is the man of the hour. And Korn barely surviving. Repositioning back towards it. Here in the util doesn't quite fire it less. Still there on the other side of things. Still 15 the seconds to plant, by the way. The old, tapping it out. The bit falls. 11 seconds. Still 10 the seconds for them to plant. Out wide into the open. Two years having to stick. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Jesus. 
A continuation in the round. Get into play this one a bit longer. I tell you what, though, I kind of really like this from from Loud. Once they went up over towards short, they saw that they had the same smoke down. They kind of realized, and they decided to push real deep over towards here from uh, lamps. So that was actually very nice from them in terms of the plan of how to deal with this. They realized the round before, and Frodo probably talked about it. The fact that they're kind of doing the DRX store in terms of the smoke, Viper, everything in terms of util being here. The fact that they actually have to push and get the kills towards back of sight. So that was a really good change up from them. So yeah, it was a nice timeout from Frog to talk about that. Using his ultimate into the Viper's pit, pinging out where Com was playing and allowing less the timing to be able to get in and backstab. Beautiful coordination to be able to remove an ultimate that would otherwise have usually sealed the round for the defenders. Both teams playing fantastic Valorant here in the final <coughs> Insta the timeout. Final. I like that. Yeah, I like this a lot. Unknown reserves. Yeah, and she's probably just going to talk about this to make sure they know about this. She has so many timeouts, it's just like, you realize what they're doing now in terms of our A stuff? So they could carry on doing the direct smoke over towards the plant spot, or, and then have a plan for them pushing close. My question here is, do EG make an adjustment? Uh, they've been using yeah. Ethan's <clears throat> They side for the Viper going to over towards B. A rotates. Now, you know, they're trying to stack three, kind of four changed players everything. on A Bring and just leave the whole of B to Demon 1. And it's worked, and Wait. it also hasn't. It just comes down to the execution of B. Okay, so we did the wall. Oh no, okay, it looks like they we're actually... We're actually keeping it the same, right? Where's the smoke going? going? Aggressive <laughs> on sand. So many ways that you can play their comp. Okay. Ethan so more he the more deeper block of, of this. So they're talking space. about them getting over towards short early. They want here. to punish that. Yeah. They want to, to block short a lot heavier. A lot of these rounds. Contendo to hold on towards who could demon want. Planted himself down. Operated Money's in a weird spot. Jorgobo's gonna ult him. Jorgobo, yep, yeah, off that contact and the play. Towards oh, he's in it. I was gonna say he's in the corner though. Awesome they get the trade no matter what, but that's the person that enters the site. So, yeah, feels like it benefits the uh, defense. Over a strike towards the back of the side. He's still got the angle here, but he needs a bailout as well from the rest of his team. He gets the one. What a shot. Doesn't take the TP. Moves towards it. Less is there. Crouched. Seeking to trade again, but it's left. Aye, what a opening. And he's in. What a sick play from him, no matter what happens. <laughs> oh my god, he did so good. He stayed alive the whole time as well. That was so nice from Ethan. Yeah, that was so good, dude. Again, he's the rock, man. He is the rock of the team. They go for a reclear of B-Long with the Ray's ultimate, which is a brilliant idea. Goes through the teleporter too. And then Demon One's positioning here is great. He's in front of the Viper wall, so he's protected from Hooker. Swings back into Hooker, looking for a kill with the head after. You can always teleport away. Yeah, they've just got so many good ideas because that then plays Ethan in through the smoke. I think they're wrecked, right? Two people? Yeah, two people. Double stinger. They force into it. It's all on this. For this final map, the final answer. Best the fight that has gone the distance this time. Willing to just hold on to control of this one. Another flash, Ethan has to respect that one, so. Bounces away to safety. And they must still respect Loud in these kind of rounds. But you can't get ahead of yourself. Sure, up to 11, EG look like they're gonna be able to close it out. But when they played this map at Tokyo against Fnatic, they choked a 10-4 lead and ended up losing in overtime. Yeah, the problem is, oh, they, they might have a small window like that to happen. I was going to say, the problem, 
problem is they've changed it up so we have that heavier stop of short. They actually managed to get all the way through short. And that's not great there. Flash play into the back of the site loud. Taking a fight straight to them. Full punishment on display. Ethan, too much to overcome. What a round. What yeah, what a play from them as well. They've got a good timing over towards shorts. Maybe the smokes could have been a little bit better from uh, from EG in terms of the timing of the smoke. Viper smoke. And then again, they've just been doing this, right? They're just taking the back of the site the whole time. <laughs> what an incredible round from Loud. Yeah, that was good. In terms of them fighting for backside A control. They yeah, they keep that doing the whole it. Time. There aren't many teams that even do it at the best of times. That's one of the reasons why Foot end up being really good on bind, actually. And they, one yeah. of the reasons why they've beaten teams like Fnatic in the past. Pushes into backside like this is so unexpected. And yet coordinated brilliantly. Sadak using this new angle. A brim yeah, that's down nice. It's also heaven. one of the benefits of this comp, right? Everybody you can kind of put your XX smokes down. It looks like you're going for uh, just splitting off half this? and planting, but actually you go for it because you have the extra smokes that can go over towards heaven. It's one of the cooler things that this comp can do. Here from Bustio. They're that's forcing awesome. into this one when, honestly, the safer play might just to be to take an eco and try and ground out two rounds. Flash went for down over long towards long. long. It definitely hit. So I'm trying to work out predicament. EG find themselves what in. the reaction is. Sadak. Trademark. Flash goes down, goes down again over towards long. It also hits. Still no rotate. Of that spot. They're also pushing Ethan away. Yeah, so Molly lands over towards long. Fine. Dog clears all of this as well. Dude, they have to rotate at one point, surely. This is, a, this is mad that EG haven't rotated one over with everything that's going on. Ethan is fully out of util for a little bit. He has a flash again now. Damn, EG really thinks this is a... Like, every single flash from uh, from Ethan is here. No way, it hit the Seekers so, it, so they can get out? That is so unlucky. Bro, Jorgamo killed two with the judge there as well. Nicely done. Ethan got two, Jorgamo got two. And they're just wrecked, money-wise. That guy was so on a nice edge from ruining their economy. If they didn't find the value from this round, EG were going to be in a really disastrous spot. It takes guts to go for a call like that. Judge him up. <laughs> That's kind of sick. One round more, and EG have made back Yeah, and this is the, this is by far their best Tokyo chance. Four of them. One more round. Still got the judge after he got a double with it. Why not? Especially against the smokes, like it's so good. They want to smoke all the time. You just play in it or close with a judge, like it it does wreck it. Shut down any more doubt here that EG don't belong in these deep finishes. Definitely not Matador. Thank you, thank you for the bits, bro. Appreciate you. A collection of rookies led by some veteran presence, but <laughs> made so waves much, since man. then. All the expectations against them are now on the verge of it. Heading into Demon One, close to the corner. He's got a rendezvous to escape as well. How does this get cleared? Strong pause. Yeah. Off angle, he nicely falls. done. Great brimstone Molly as well coming through from Bustio. Here we go, showstopper. Loose from Aspas, he needs to get value from this one, but it doesn't. It goes wide. No damage done. A boost deal. Immediately takes back up that space. Smoke's dude, there's so many people here and they've, they've locked them in. Look at look at him behind, dude. Jorgamo's behind. Oh my god, no, man. Finish him off with the judge. Ethan is here so fast, chat. He is here so fast. Yep. Damn, nicely done. Another final for them. Respect. That was a really good map as well. They played great.